Come take a trip to Western New York, where we will write about the signs of spring together. Hi, Wild Riders. I came outside to film for you today and it is raining, but I thought I'd stay out here for just a minute because rain is a sign of spring. So if you look in here, you will see a vernal pool on our property. And as you remember, or as you are learning, a vernal pool is, vernal means spring, and it's a spring pool that's only around for spring. It will dry up in the summertime. It's a place where frogs and toads may lay their eggs and little tadpoles will swim around. We don't have any in there right now. I was checking a little bit earlier, but I'll keep checking during our time together, and perhaps we will get to see some over this course of time. If you look now, you can just see the little raindrops falling in there, and making ripples. I'll be quiet so you can hear the birds too. Way off in the distance, I can hear a woodpecker. When I use those deer ears that I just learned about in the Sheldrake video. It's behind me, the woodpecker. One thing that can be great is to find a place in nature where you return to again and again. Some people call this a sit spot, where you sit, observe, come back, sit, observe again. Do you hear the patter of rain even harder? More ripples in there? I might get pretty wet out here. calming to be out in nature. I will see you soon. You may be thinking about a good sit spot for you. You can visit this window or outside place again and again when you write and draw, even over many years. And so, let's begin writing together. Hello, second and third grade wild writers of Mamaroneck. Welcome to my home. This is a piece of my yard. I am happy to have you here where we are thinking about signs of spring. I was thinking about signs of spring earlier this week when I watched the Sheldrake Nature for video, and I got to take a tour of that lovely place that someday I will visit in person just as you have or just as you will soon once you're back to school, or just as you may this week or next week with your family staying nice and far apart from everybody else. So we are thinking about signs of spring, and I have a nature journal here that I'm writing in. I'm writing in several nature journals right now because it's such a beautiful time of year, and I'm thinking about a type of writing that is kind of an interesting thing to do when we think about all these signs of spring, and especially the one that changes everything, which is the sun. And in springtime, one thing that is so important is that our part of the earth, the northern hemisphere, is tilted more toward the sun. So we receive more of that sun's energy, stronger and for longer periods of time. And so thinking about this and thinking about writing and thinking about spring, I thought it would be interesting to imagine that I was the sun, for you to imagine that you are the sun. And all the changes that happen because of the energy you bring. Perhaps the sun, we could imagine, has a favorite part of spring. The sun has changed and then the earth is changing. So for writers, one thing writers do sometimes is we take different points of view. So I'm taking the point of view of the sun this week. I encourage you to also try this. Let me show you a page of my nature journal or my field notebook where what I did is I started to list some things that are affected by the sun and the changes from the sun. So I wrote springtime, I drew the sun, and I'll add more drawings and sketches because I like my field nature journals to have art and writing combined. But I began with writing this time. The sun shines on, and I listed many signs of spring. If you wish, you could go back, 
watch any of the clips from Sheldrake or take a walk with your family or just go out in your yard if you're able or out to a park nearby if you are able or look out a window of your apartment or your home and see what is something that is a sign of spring. So I listed some tulips, crocuses, trout lilies, all those spring ephemerals, those flowers, trees, baby birds are born, chipmunks and groundhogs, squirrels, bunnies, butterflies, bees. The sunlight I wrote here is longer and stronger. You can feel it on your face. And then I pretended to be the sun. And I did not finish my writing yet, but you can see I drew the sun. And I will write, I will read to you what I wrote in the voice of the sun. Good morning, Mamaronik. It's me, the sun. The northern hemisphere of the earth is tilted toward me, so you feel warmer. Let me tell you about one of my favorite spring sights. I love bees. My favorite kind is honeybees because honey is the color of sunlight, me. When I shine down on earth, every creature in that shining area can see me and feel me, even honeybees. When I bring spring, honeybees stop hibernating and start pollinating. I enjoyed writing in the voice of the sun and I know I'll write more here. We have beehives on our property and the bees have been coming out a lot now because it's spring. And I kind of wonder if the sunshine likes that. So this week, as we think about signs of spring, along with that, I'm asking you, and I also am thinking about energy and the energy of the sun that brings all of these changes and what the sun might have to say about that. I look forward to seeing you next week when we will talk more about keeping a nature journal or a field notebook. Take good care and I hope you can get outside. Our sun gives light energy and heat energy to our earth. If you were the sun, what might you write about your energy and the changes it brings in spring? Here are some more signs of spring from around my home. These are early snow glories I planted last fall. Here is our kitty, Fiona. She's our youngest kitty. We have five. She's soaking up some sunlight. These trout lilies are poking up through last year's leaves. They are strong. Earlier this week, I went outside and saw one violet. A few days later, I walked to a different part of my yard and I saw all of these violets. Just look at them in the sunshine. We have an old milk house with something special inside, but right now you can see the buds from that tree just popping out. Enjoy finding signs of spring in your life this week. I will be writing more in my nature journal and I will think of you. Remember, my Mamaronic friends, even when we're inside a lot, we can still write wild.